Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another awesome math video. This on factoring simple trinomial. So what I consider to be a simple trinomial is there's nothing in front of the x squared term, just one. Sorry for there's any noise background there. My uh, my wife is also a teacher, and she's correcting, and she's making all kinds of rustling noises in the background. So I apologize for the audio quality of this video. Um, but anyway. I digress. You know what it's like. Um, so, um, I need to factor this trinomial. So, uh, again, a simple trinomial, nothing in front of the x squared. So what I like to use, and I call it in my classes, is the AM method. So the add multiplied method. So what adds to give us 8 and multiplies to give us 12. So we need to think of two numbers to do that. So what adds to give us 8 and what multiplies to give us 12. So what I do in my head is I start thinking about what numbers multiply to give me 12. So uh, when my students first start out at this, they might make a list of uh, numbers. So, well, uh, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. And then they add them together. So that's the multiply part. And then the add part would be, well, 1 plus 12 is 13. 2 times 6 is 8. And then when they get when they get that to work, that's your answer right there. So the numbers are 2 and 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. 2 plus 6 is 8. So now you have to, well, let's verify that before we, so, um, multi, uh, multiplies to get us 12, adds to get us 6. So 2 plus 6 is 8, and 2 times 6 is 12, so it works. So the two numbers are 2 and 6. So now we have to write it in factored form. So the factored form is we do x plus the first number, which is 2 or 6, doesn't matter, x plus 2, then x plus the second number, which is 6. And that's my factored form. So that is how we factor a trinomial into two binomials. Let's try another one. Let's throw a negative into the loop here. That actually should say 12. So, in this case, we have a negative, so we have to be a little more creative. So, in this case, it's what adds to get us negative 1. So, there's no, no number in front, so we assume it would be negative 1. And then multiplies to get us negative 12. So, again, we have to think about what numbers get us to negative 12. Well, it's 1 and 12, 2 and 6. 3 and 4. Now, of course, we have a negative involved. So when we add the two numbers, we have to get a negative. So the larger of the numbers have to be ne has to be negative. So let's, let's do that. So negative 12 times 1. That's not going to work because that's negative 11. How about negative 2 times, negative 6 times 2? Add those together, you get negative 4. How about negative 4 times 3? Add those together, you get negative 1. So that works. So negative 3 negative 4 plus 3, negative 1, negative 4 times 3, it's negative 12. So those numbers work. So negative 4 times 3. So in fact, it form becomes x subtract the first number, so x minus 4, and x plus 3. So if it's negative, we write subtract there. If it's, if it's, if it's uh, positive, we write plus. So that's it. So this might not be necessary for you guys, but that's what my students like to do in, uh, when they're starting out. Let's try one more. So, what adds to get us um, negative 1 and multiplies to get us 42. So then we think of the numbers. So, the number that I'm thinking of now is since um, they only differ by 1, I'm thinking of two numbers close together. So, I'm immediately thinking of 6 and 7. So, since um, my add part is negative, I should pick the 7 to be negative. So it adds to get us negative 1, multiplies to get us negative 42. Well, negative 7 plus 6 is negative 1. Negative 7 times 6 is negative 42. So there it is. So I'll write it in fact form, x minus 7, x plus 6. So it's a pretty quick video, guys. I hope this helps, but factoring trinomials is very important. Um, so if you're looking for complex trinomials, you should watch my video on decomposition. And I also have a video on a rare factoring technique that not many teachers teach, which I find to be super easy for factoring complex trinomials with a number from the x squared called Joe's Method.
So if you don't know what Joe's method is, you really should. It'll make your factoring life so much easier. Um, so good luck, and I hope um, this video helped. See ya.